All right, I think we did it, everyone. Audi R8 Spider. I definitely have to give this a try now. And of course, because I hate myself, let's immediately do it in a time trial. So this just seems to be a better version of winning formula. Like, it looks gorgeous. That color blue is probably my favorite color blue. If it's just like a tint slightly darker, I think we're right on it. But this normal blue is just... It's perfect. All right, so let's do this. I think we're looking for a 208. 208. Oh, it sounds just like the car too. Nice. So that's the one benefit that I do have. The one thing that I do enjoy about Lamborghini and Audi essentially being, no, well, Lamborghini being owned by Audi. But he is like, hey, let's make a more reliable version of a Gallardo or a Huracan and literally use the same engine. And probably the same exhaust system, too. So it's like, huh. That's just the Lamborghini Huracan for like a hundred grand less. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So first impressions is the it's very sticky. It's very it handles very nicely. The lack of braking power and, ironically, the speed. Even though the speed is at like four. Ooh, that was close. Even the speed is at like four. If we throw an upgrade on it to like five or a six, this thing will be a monster because it's got four boosts. So it's just, this is exactly what you need. Because honestly, like, having a speedy car is great, yes, but if it does not have the boost, it just doesn't make sense. They're going around here. Oh, are we? No! I hate it when you miss the spider head. Spider head? Snake head? God. <laughs> I was thinking of the spider that was trying to kill me earlier, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Okay, I gotta... I'm gonna cut this corner here. Shouldn't have done that. Where are we going? Ugh. Gotta try that again. Okay, take two. We're doing much better already, but we can... kind of cut through the corner there, and we're alright. Use a couple of boosts, go over our little ramp. Recover. In a pretty nice slide. Uh, I got to go through the whole spider chicane again. Honestly, the th as far as traps go, I'm pretty sure the spider is the one that I hate the most because you can only avoid it either by boosting through it, but most times you have to be on like the edge of the track because if you're going through the middle. Yes, there is video proof of me going through the middle and not dying. I guess you kind of got to go either at an angle through the middle or you got to ride the edges there because if you're on the edge that it's facing away from, you can tell that it screws up its angle and doesn't know, like, um, how to shoot. Which, I mean, it works. But half the time there's already a bunch of webbing that's already been placed in front of the edges, so it's... you have very limited options. I just noticed that the Audi is also one of the... Ooh! Ooh! Nice! That worked out. I was gonna say the Audi is kind of like the Mini Cooper, where it's got that weird kind of bell ringing... I don't even know what you want to call it. Sound effect. But I am very slow right now. I've learned my lesson. I will not be cutting in the corner too dramatically here. But, uh... If I'm following the course, I am getting some good corning, which means I'm going to get some good drifting, which is good for the boost. Um... I can't see myself making 208 here. The start-finish line has got to be, like, right here. And it's still not here. Where is it? Didn't even make 212. Ah. Alright, one more time. Otherwise, we're gonna have to swap to Synchro. 
That's something that I do appreciate is is if you don't meet any of the goals, they'll just let you run it again. But yeah, I am not recovering enough boost to make this worthwhile. Normally, if you have a, a car that's got a lot of boost, it should be all right. But uh, when you can't recover any of it, then then you then you got some problems. So so far, I feel like we're doing all right. But again, the lack of boost feels like that this this time is already slug-ish. But I haven't made any grave mistakes. I mean. I could have used to boost through there, but I think I'm going to save it for kind of like after here. Yeah, here's a nice straightaway. Use two here. Kind of fly off a little bit, I don't know. And use to boost at the top. There we go. Yeah, but now we're out of boost, so drift here. Boost pad, boost pad. Drift here. Okay, snake head closed. Perfect. I kind of like the fact that you've got to always do a loop after the snake. I mean, I know that's entirely one singular track piece, but at the same time, too, it's it's quite fitting, where it's like coiled up around a branch or something, so you just take the loop out. Looks kind of fun. So, okay, um... I'm still not feeling great. Should have used that boost there. Yeah, we're not making a 208. We gotta, we gotta get a speed upgrade for this thing if we want to make this. Not even a 212. <sighs> yeah, we're we're done. So let's upgrade it once. Can we upgrade it again? No, we cannot. Okay. Now, with the upgrade, one last time. One lap and then we're done. So we upgrade it, but we lose boost. It's rather interesting. Oh, that's because it's super vast. <laughs> And because of it, the handling is amazing, which means you're going to recover boost immediately. Wow, this is like a night and day difference. Wow, that thing just flies. I find it interesting, though, that you actually lose boost containers because of the speediness that you've acquired. It kind of makes it feel like that the Synchro is a better vehicle upgraded then because... You've got the speed and you've got the boost, but you lack at the handling, so I mean, it's not all entirely a lost cause. I wouldn't call it a lost cause, it's not totally overpowered, is what I mean. Oh. Nope, I gotta let it run through. Sorry, I gotta do it. I said one last lap. So okay, so we've got we've got the webbing and we've hit a barrier. So how so how bad is this? Oh, we don't even we didn't even save boost for the loop, so this is going to be slow. It's not as slow as it could have been. Yeah, that oh. <clears throat> Yeah, the the second you do and <laughs> I have to now. God. You get on a fastest lap and everything just... You flow through everything perfectly. You you screw up once or twice and then you start missing your rotations. Oh, apparently it just got boost at the beginning. I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> All right. Fine. And they say Hot Wheels is too... Arcadey to be a sim racer. I'm joking. <laughs> Time trials, though. Okay. Well, yeah. Go on the other side here. There we go. Perfect. Save our boost for Hirish. Yeah. Go up the loop. Probably boost the way back down. 
Then do a nice drift through here. Perfect. What is these webbing placements? Unbelievable. You can't avoid that. There again, this is like a time trial at the very last point on the map. So this is like probably the last time trial. So no wonder why they make it so insanely difficult to get 100% on it. But if I do even get near, like, a 208, I, I'm hoping that I'm just getting a 212. I'll, I'll come back later and do the 208. But if I get a 212, that's already... Yeah, what is going on here? There we go. Get a 212. I'm, I'm going to be very excited because this... Then that just means that you need an upgraded car, which, to be fair, you kind of do at this point. So no corridor cutting. I learned my lesson. Got the boost. Collect $200, pass go, whatever. We're at about the same spot as we were previously, but this spot's going to be faster. I don't have any boost on the way out. Not even a 212. Oh. It is my fastest lap, however. Got a 213, so that's that's still pretty good. But that's with the spider web in, so without it, I probably would get a 212. Uh, it did keep me tight for two seconds, though, so it might have been as good as a 210 or a 211. But that's for another day. Thanks for uh, watching this episode of Hot Wheels Unleashed. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to join our brand new Discord server as well. Of course, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.